In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite go-to plays right now for man-to-man -man coverage. This is a really, really effective concept for beating a lot of the coverages that you're probably facing. And this is going to come to us out of the Washington offensive playbook. You can actually also find this play in the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. It is in a couple other ones, uh, but I did want to break this down for you guys. Uh, and again, if you guys want to get my full bunch offense, I've got two bunch ebooks out. I've got the Pittsburgh Steelers bunch. I've got the Washington bunch we're working on a couple other ones uh, that we're going to be dropping moment or um, later on this week um, but what I did want to talk to you guys about again if you want to get the ebooks link is in the description patreon um, it's only 10 bucks to join the patreon you get access to 12 ebooks if you join today you also get access to all the new ebooks any updates to the old ebooks uh, as well as long as your membership is active so um, if you want to check that out links in the description the play we're talking about today is cross this is out of Pittsburgh and Washington. It's in both bunches. Um, it's a really, really underrated concept, really underrated play in my opinion, um, because it's so good against man-to-man. -man. Now, you can also use the play mesh pose, which we talked about earlier today, um, to kind of get at the same basic thing. Um, but I do think cross is better. I'm gonna show you why in the video. Okay, so um, why is this play so good? This play is so good because this uh i think couple reasons the first one is this route to bernard is really good or um, not bernard but um this route to uh rudolph this block and release flat is a really really good route this year um something to think about and then you can literally just call the play like if you just call this play stock this you'll see why this is so good this crossing route really gets good separation against man to man and so we're going to kind of build around the crossing route against man to man so what we're going to do is really simple we're going to slant the slot receiver and we're just going to motion him across and snap him right about there now we're going to have really good protection if they don't blitz that tight end will go out devin white will shed the entire team and it'll be absolutely incredible um but basically the idea here is this so we want to look at the fade on the left first that's our first read this glitchy fade um can actually get over the top pretty pretty well okay um, it's also a really good route to user catch if you have a good one-on-one -on -one receiver uh, Devin, Devin White's gonna like completely wreck our video so we're gonna go ahead and pinch the defense so that he doesn't um, his speed doesn't over overpower us here uh, but anyways so you've got this fade on the left now um, you can user catch this fade if you want to try to ag over the top you can try to mess around with the ag stuff that a lot of people are doing in the community you can do something like that if you want to but the main purpose of this play is that we're looking to hit this crossing route to julio jones this crossing route is really good because again you're going to see really good separation there and then you're also going to typically get separation on this motion slant now if you have the short in elite ability um, this play becomes super super powerful because they have to put a zone on the right side to stop the slant route um, but they also have to kind of use it in the middle of the field it's one of those routes this year that you know again they're gonna have to kind of stay with this route as it goes which is going to allow you to throw that um, to Julio Jones now you don't have to free form um, I've been trying to kind of learn it a little bit you don't have to by any means do that um, you know you could just throw this as is now I'll show you something else you can do with Mike Evans in just a second that's gonna make this even better but you see a lot of times he's gonna cook him just like that um, it's really good against press man really really good against press man most people when they run man they're gonna press you if you're in but they're gonna press that outside guy um, if you're if they're gonna run man on you they're typically gonna press the outside bunch player the the defense actually can defend this a little better if they're not jammed but you see how he just cooks right there and I'll show you a replay um, just how good this route is and again when you have short and a lead on this route it's gonna light up and you're gonna get really really crazy good separation but what you'll notice here if you watch watch the guy guarding Julio you see how he takes that little false step that happens pretty consistently on this play okay now this fade on the left side is really good like i said you can you can kind of um you know mess with you know maybe trying to use or catch or whatever if you want to okay just all you're doing to, to use or catch is you just high ball um i like to pass lead it to the outside maybe up into the outside uh but basically you know you could do something like this and if it's single one-on-one -on -one coverage um these ags are super effective especially if you have a big body receiver right but another thing that you can do that I think people are kind of sleeping on with this play 
is you can use outside apprentice routes. So like, let's say outside apprentice is one of the most popular abilities, one of the most important abilities for any offense you're running this year. If I run this C route, I want you to see how this is gonna play out um, against man to man, okay? So let's say I have a C route and I have this crosser going into the C route. You'll notice that the spacing is actually not as bad as you might think. The C route gets high enough to where the crossing route is not going to be a big problem. So let's say, for example, that we're going to get a zone coverage, which is the primary reason you would want to streak is for zone coverage so that it clears out zones, right? Watch how the C route is still going to run deep enough to clear out the outside third. And then there's this little window to hit the to hit the crossing route. Now, right there, the purple zone actually dropped back significantly. Uh, so we'll just illustrate it with hard flats, but you'll see that the the deep third and the outside apprentice will kind of work together here. So that third has to take that guy, which leaves that guy wide open. Okay, so you see how the I, you see how you can still use outside apprentice with this. Now the other thing that you can do, um, not just with outside or not just with the C route, but you can also use um, a skinny post, which I actually really like a skinny post. So I actually think the skinny post is probably the better route. Um, cause it's still going to pull the outside third really well against zone. You'll see, see how he takes that step inside and then you can throw that right there on the sideline. So you see how this play can not only be really effective against man, but it can also be very effective against zone. And the last little piece of this that I want to show you is let's say that they're going to put a zone over here on the left to stop this, um, you know, crossing route. Maybe they're going to, and they're going to lurk right in the middle here. You know, and then they've got to have a deep route, right, to stop the skinny post. Something like this. Okay. Uh, what you're going to do is you can also put your tight end on this little baby out route, which I've talked about before here on the channel. And it's really good against man to man. Like Kyle Rudolph's terrible. He's really not a good player in Madden. Uh, but with short and elite, if you have a tight end that can actually get separation, this is going to be good. It's still good against like purple zones and stuff. So like if they were to, you know, want to run like a, a purple out here, that purple doesn't get out there very well. These out routes are super powerful this year. So you can kind of mesh, um, you know, these two little pieces together. Um, you can leave this block and release pattern. Let me show you what the benefit of that is real quick. So like, let's say that they blitz me. Um, you know, so like, let's say my opponent is going to send pressure and I'm going to set up a defense that kind of looks like this. Okay. So it's a send five look. If you watch this out route to uh, the tight end, a lot of times he'll stay in and block if that see how he's blocking there and then he'll release and nobody guards him. So you see how this can be really good for the dollar meta as well. So anyways, really simple concept. Wanted to share this with you today. Um, this little double cross play from Bunch I think is really good. Um, and the, you know, just like I said, you can do the same basic thing with mesh post the post routes a little deeper so the c route won't necessarily be very effective but you could just put a streak over there and now you see how deep that see how that post is going to run super deep down the field that post will get over any zone drop so again i'm going to go to mesh post real quick and, and kind of show you this um, but you can have kind of the same basic pass protection and then what you'll see is see how that streak's going to clear out the zone and then i can throw that post in behind it so Really effective, little simple play out of bunch. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the offense, make sure you join our Patreon. Um, that's where you get access to all of my eBooks by becoming a member. You literally get unlimited access to everything, all the updates, any new stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff there. And we're going to be dropping a brand new eBook later this week. So a lot of really good stuff on the way for Patreon members. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you join if you want to. The link is in the description below.